Hi folks, this is Tanner Reed from Autodesk, and today I'm going to show you how to make sharp edges on sculpted bodies in Fusion 360. So the first way to do this is to use the Edit Form tool. This is pretty simple. All we're doing is moving T-splines uh, towards the corner to sharpen it out. And so as you move T-splines closer to each other, for instance, uh, these two that I'm moving here, you'll see your corner starts to get a little bit sharper. And this is because the closer that we move these together, the more localized control we have. And the more localized control we have, the sharper the edge we can make. You'll also see this principle in work whenever you're first making your T-spline object. As you're adding splines and distributing them, it's making sharper corners as well. But you'll see that using the Edit Form tool never gives you an actual solid crease there. And so under the Modify menu, there's a tool called Crease. And when we use Crease, we can click on a specific edge and it'll go through and crease that out kind of like making a, you know, a solid corner in a solid modeling environment. And when we say OK, now as we go through and edit this shape some more, you'll see that it treats these two lines as if they meet at a point and it no longer kind of defines them in an organic way. Finally, the third thing we can do is start with the sketch profile with contours that come to a point or an intersection. And whenever we choose something like an extrusion or evolve or a sweep, we can draw that profile into a three-dimensional T-spline object. And wherever you had curves on that object, you're going to have your more organically defined T-spline edges. And whenever you had points or intersections, you're going to get more of a creased T-spline edge. And these are the same kind of creases that we had before. And so if you wanted to say get rid of one, you can always go to the Modify menu and choose Uncrease. And then by clicking on a creased edge, you can draw it back to be defined in a more organic relationship. Thanks for watching guys, hopefully that was helpful. Uh, there are more learning resources on the Fusion 360 website under the Learning tab. Uh, or you can feel free to ask questions, uh, leave comments in the comment section, or you can tweet me at Tanner S. Reed. Thanks guys!